So multiple myeloma is a rare blood cancer that starts in the bone marrow. The bone marrow is the factory of our immune cells, particularly white blood cells named plasma cells, and their job is to create antibodies. Antibodies help us fight infection. In multiple myeloma, one of these antibodies grows uncontrollably and crowds out the bone marrow cells. Overall, this makes the immune system weaker, which can cause frequent infections, bone pain, and fractures due to increased destruction, anemia, which can cause fatigue, and kidney failure because of high levels of protein buildup in the blood and urine. We do not know the cause of multiple myeloma, but it is the most common type of blood cancer. People may have precursor stages to multiple myeloma and not even know it. However, multiple myeloma is not a single entity. There are different gen genetic types. Some are normal risk and some are high risk where chromosomes in the cells get swapped or deleted. The genetics of myeloma evolve over time, sometimes accumulating mutations and becoming more resistant to therapy. Today, multiple myeloma is incurable, but fortunately, it's very treatable. The field has rapidly evolved over the last 20 years, and there are a wide variety of treatment combinations available to achieve durable remissions. These include steroids, chemotherapy in IV or pill form, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy, which includes monoclonal or bispecific antibodies and CAR T cells. With so many options, three to four drugs are combined effectively and individually to treat newly diagnosed patients, often in combination with an autologous stem cell transplant. We also have clinical trials available for newly diagnosed and for patients with relapse disease. More recently, advances in myeloma therapies have given patients and providers hope for a potential cure in the very near future. The field of multiple myeloma has had more FDA approval than any other cancer in the recent years. These approaches are often in the realm of immunotherapy, which harnesses the power of the person's own immune system against the cancer cells. At Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey, we use the latest treatment advances and have several clinical trials available for patient participation. Getting the right tests at the beginning of diagnosis is absolutely critical because once treatment starts, it kills the myeloma cells where these features are found. These tests include blood tests, urine tests, bone marrow biopsies, imaging such as MRI or a PET scan, and genetic testing of the myeloma cells. In order to obtain a complete picture and tailor the therapy to each individual, it is essential to perform the initial testing at a center of excellence for multiple myeloma. Because there are so many new treatments and research advances for myeloma, having a specialist is a must. Many patients may obtain a consultation with a myeloma specialist at a myeloma center for excellence and return to their home to receive day-to-day -day care locally. Consulting with the specialist allows for a personalized, patient-centered treatment approach, often with the use of precision medicine. It also allows access to an entire multidisciplinary team of physicians, nurses, social workers, nurse navigators, scientists, etc. that's dedicated to caring for individuals for multiple myeloma.